Hey guys, it's the two Anna's here, and we're at Troy Buchanan High School looking at the Seated Boxer. And the Seated Boxer is a great example of Hellenistic art. Which is an expansion or development in the subject matter that follows the death of Alexander the Great. These images strayed away from the portrayal of beautiful forms and led to grotesque or informal images that included children, the elderly, and Africans. This was found at the Coronado Hill of Rome near the Baths of Constantine. The original creation date is 100 BCE. It's the original sculpture created in bronze, and it's really rare that a sculpture like this has survived all this time because Greek bronze sculptures were typically melted down so the bronze could be reused for other sculptures or other things since the material was so expensive which shows just how highly venerated this piece was among the Greeks. It was also found buried, which is another indication that people admired and respected this statue so much that they hid him, possibly to protect the sculpture from invaders or a siege on Rome. It can be inferred that he's very good at his craft, or at least was good during his prime. Many boxers at this time either died or were really hurt from the sport because of the brutality and since he's so old it tells how long he stuck around and how many fights he's won. For most of the history of the sport the fighters would wear leather wraps with sharp edges so they could cut their opponent's face. Boxing was a sport that was part of all four of the Panhellenic games and these athletes were highly revered so that's why these sculptures were created in their image. The function of the sculpture was that it was possibly created to honor his well-known boxer. Maybe the artist wanted to capture the viewer's compassion for this beaten down boxer. There's evidence of wear on his feet from being touched, which might have meant that he was a good luck charm for athletes. It's kind of like that bust at Mizzou that students rub in hopes of passing their tests or finals. No one knows if the seated boxer was originally part of a large sculpture group or intended to be an individual piece. Another function of this piece was to show the daily life and hardships that a boxer experienced during that time. The shift in new subject matter during the Hellenistic period shows that beauty is found in life experience. The sculpture is created from the lost wax process in several separate pieces and then welded together. You can see the boxer is hollow by looking through his eyes. Although these hollow eye holes seem haunting now, the piece originally had inlaid eyes, but they're gone now. <laughs> the, seater, the seated boxer is nude except for his boxing gloves. You can see incised marks on his face, and that's not from the sculpture being worn from time. The boxer's face was intentionally cut by the artist to show the damage from the sharp-edged gloves. <gasps> oh my god, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're going to cut that out. <laughs> the boxer is betrayed right after a fight. He's visibly exhausted in his facial expression and his stature. At first glance, based on his posture, I would think that he's just been defeated and is looking at the opponent who has just defeated him. But there are so many other viable theories on the boxer. Some believe he he's looking at the judge's audience or his upcoming opponent. There's a lot that can be interpreted from it. He's really beat up because his ears are swollen from being hit. Wrestlers and boxers today experience this swelling, and it's called cauliflower ears. He's bloody and bruised up, and this is shown by the inlay of copper. These character... Sorry. I can't say that word. Can you say it? Yeah, I can <laughs> say it. These characteristics, like the inlaid copper, eyes, and scratch features, enhance the lifelike quality. It was thought improper to sculpt a figure seated, especially hunched over. Before the Hellenic period... Only idolized humans' form were created. They wouldn't have portrayed anyone as beaten down older man. These features of the brutal realities of fighters contrast the classical details of his curly hair and athletic human form. Some connections that can be made include Francisco de Goya's giant, which has the same posture as the boxer with his head turned up, and the giant seems to be looking at something ominous. For connections, we have both Donatello's and Michelangelo's David, which contrasted the seated boxer because the David sculpture has this impossibly perfect body with smooth feature features and the boxer's expression expressions were raw and realistic because he is imperfect. Also Donatello's David used bronze, which is the same as the seated boxer. This contrasted the ideals of Greek representation in sculptures.
Okay, this has been ASMR with the two Annas. Bye, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>